Here's a live look from Domenico's on the wharf in Monterey. We are still seeing some scattered showers out there this morning. Again, uh, you might be driving and you could be in an area where it's dry and then all of a sudden run into a light shower out there. So that's what we're expecting. So there are going to be areas of damp, even slick roadways this morning. So be prepared for that for the morning commute. But really overall, not too bad out there. Temperatures very mild. We're sitting in those 50s to low 60s again. Scattered showers are going to continue throughout the afternoon. And once we get some daytime heating occurring as well, now it's not going to be super warm out there, but we are going to see temperatures back in those upper 60s to low 70s. That could help to generate a little bit of instability, which means we do have the chance to see a, it's a very slight chance, but a chance to see some thunderstorms out there this afternoon developing. The better chance of thunderstorms is going to come tomorrow. Now, this low still sitting off to the west in the Pacific, it's going to start to make its way east and as it does that's going to increase our instability out there so one other thing is we are going to be tapping into another disturbance that's going to be swinging up in our direction so for the beginning of tomorrow we actually have the chance to see more light to moderate widespread rainfall out there that's going to carry us into the early part of the evening and then once that low actually makes its way across our area that's when we could start to generate more of that instability which means more chances of seeing those thunderstorms later on in the evening tomorrow. So again, we're going to be tracking all of this very carefully for you. Luckily, it's not going to be dry lightning. We are going to have some rain associated with that. So uh, we are going to, you know, it's always best to stay fire aware, always best to stay aware of your surroundings as well. But the fire risk is not there with that rain associated with it. Good news. But we do have a change as we head out of the, or I should say into the weekend. Saturday, we will have some lingering showers early and then ridge of high pressure builds back in Sunday into Monday, which means we are going to see warmer and sunnier weather across the central coast that will take us through the first half of next week so if you're not a fan of the rain we got some nice weather on the way, but that rain's gonna be sticking around a few more days and here's what we're looking at. Again, we're gonna to continue to see those scattered showers throughout the morning into this afternoon. Now we might have a little break uh, from about 10 a.m. to about noon where things will kind of calm down the activity. But again, once the, everything kind of heats up, you'll actually start to see these showers redevelop later on this afternoon. We're talking about around that 1, 2 p.m. hour, uh, those scattered showers lasting through about five. Then we actually calm down again through the early part of the night really overnight hours as well we'll continue to see partly cloudy skies and then our main system that second band here will be moving through our area again this is going to bring some widespread showers across the central coast light to moderate showers out there very much like what we were seeing yesterday evening that will move through the area fairly quickly it will leave us with some scattered showers through Friday evening this is a look at what we can expect in the next 24 hours as far as precipitation goes I did not include Friday system with this. Uh, we're going to be just around two tenths of an inch, if not less than that. So this is not going to be a huge rainmaker for us today. Uh, of course, individual cells could produce heavier downpours. Individual cells could also produce some gustier winds as well. And speaking of those winds, they are going to be calmer today compared to yesterday. I know a lot of people were not a fan of those gusty winds yesterday afternoon, but we still will be breezy out there, gusty at times, and we are are going to see those winds pick up as we head into Friday ahead of that system. So we're going to see those winds calm down and then as we head into Friday those winds will pick right back up and you'll see this band here move across the area. That's when we're going to see those winds again in that 30 to 35 mile per hour range. Because of those winds we do have a gale warning out there. This is not for the entire coast. This includes just along the Big Sur coastline out 10 nautical miles. Southeast winds 15 to 25 knots gusts up to 40 knots and 10 temperatures today will be slightly warmer compared to yesterday, but very similar. In fact, we're going to be right around seasonable this afternoon with mainly upper 60s to low 70s.